Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Peyton and I'm kind of new to the YouTube world. I've uploaded two videos, but they weren't that good, so. Now I have lights and everything I need and I'm ready to go, so. Today I did this brown matte eye with a simple nude lip. Pretty basic, but it was fun to create, so. If you guys want to see how this look turned out, then keep on watching. I'm gonna first start by going in with my Anastasia Dip Brow in the shade medium brown and I'm gonna use this IT Cosmetics angled liner brush but I use it for my eyebrows <laughs> looks the same that is a lot harder and the beauty gurus on YouTube make it look I'm just using a little palette as a mirror though a little bit about my life um, this week I started winter quarter classes at the university I'm attending and let's just say I don't know how this quarter is gonna turn out it wasn't a positive or negative thing you know new year new me but <laughs> them classes though it's a good brow day ladies and gents doesn't happen very often. And now I'm just gonna go in and like clean up the bottom and the top with my Tarte Shape Tape in the shade medium. And then this is just like a random brush that my sister-in-law gave me. We're not really, she's not really my sister-in-law because me and her brother aren't married. But I just like to call her that. We call each other that. They're beautiful and I love them. It was like a set so it came with like a bunch of different brushes which is super cool. And I needed brushes, so thank you, Shaika, if you're watching this. <laughs> what a brow. Okay. Okay. My brows are turning out better on camera than they ever would have if I was just doing everyday makeup. And I'm mad about it. Feeling good. Feeling good. Now I'm gonna go in with my primer. And right now I'm using the Too Faced Hangover Primer. Um, I love it. I just do two pumps, little pea size. And then I mainly focus it on like just the cheeks and like my nose because my forehead holds product pretty well. Then for foundation, I'm going to use my Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation and it's in the shade Desert Beige. I've heard a lot of mixed reviews about this but I decided to give it a try for myself, and I can honestly say that it's a really good dupe, a drugstore dupe, for the Estee Lauder Double Wear foundation that I really love, but I hate using it every day because it's expensive. I'd rather just buy this. And I like this one because it's like a little paddle, so all I really do is like, just stripe it on. And then it's finished! Just kidding. And to blend it out, I would normally use my Real Technique sponge, but I recently picked up the Morphe M439 brush. I just remember buying this foundation and being so skeptical, because I thought it would just like make my skin break out after a while, but it's one of my favorites now. Ooh. Spicy. Now I'm going to conceal again with my Tarte Shape Tape. And then this is where I use my Real Technique sponge and I dab it on in. And I'm just going to set my under eye with the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. To set my entire face, I'm going in with the Bare Minerals Bare Pro Powder in the shade Pecan. Pecan? Pecan. 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 I'm not sure. There's the name for ya. 
And I'm just using a BH Cosmetics brush that I got a really long time ago, like when I first started doing makeup. Like, this was the OG brush. Now for my bronzer, we are going in with the Morphe M527 brush and my Too Faced Deep Tan Dark Chocolate Soleil bronzer. I don't really have a super big forehead, I just have a messed up hairline, so like... And then for blush, I'm using literally the OG drugstore blush that every beauty guru has. The Milani Luminoso. And then another BH brush. <laughs> now I'm going to skip highlighter because that's what I would normally do next. But I'm going to do my eyes. So I'm going to zoom you in and we'll get started. Well, for eyes today, I think I'm going to use my... Yep, I'm going to use my Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette, which I haven't used in a hot minute, so we'll see how this goes. Again, using another brush that my good old sister-in-law gave me. It's just a fluffy brush. It looks like the Morphe E23, honestly. Just a little bit longer, so it helps blend more. I'm going to use both, but they really serve the same purpose. I'm just extra. I'm just going to go in with the shade Hazelnut. Beauty guru. <laughs> and I've just been playing around in my makeup every day. I, after class, I come home and I tell myself, okay, Peyton, like, go and do a look. Whatever look you want, doesn't have to be good. <laughs> but I ain't going to toot my own horn, they're pretty good. And then, like I told you guys, I'm going to go in with the Morphe E23 and the shade Milk Chocolate. I hate having to do this, but I'll try. Oh, my mirror. First I went in with this shade, Hazelnut, and now I'm going to go in with Milk Chocolate. The M433 is what I'm going to use next, and I'm going to go in with Hot Chocolate, which is this brown color right here. And then for the last shade, I'm going to use the Morphe M332 and the color Triple Fudge, which is this brown up here. And don't mind the missing pan. It was manufactured wrong, okay? And for the lower lash line, I don't want anything too dramatic. I take the milk chocolate again and like smudge it. And for that, I'm going to use the It Cosmetics. I don't know what this says. I think. I don't know. But it looks like this. So I'm just going to go ahead and finish this up with some liner and some lashes. And I'll be right back. Okay, so I went ahead and did my lashes and my eyeliner off camera. And the lashes I used are the... Ardell Foam Ink 812s. I love them drugstore lashes. The liner that I used is Caf on D Ink Liner in Trooper. Do you want to come say hi? Kind of a tight squeeze back here. This is my boyfriend Trayn. What's poppin'? Here. I'll let you do do your thing. Thanks. While he goes and plays video games. <laughs> How <laughs> to, oh god, it didn't break. Thank god. Now to finish the look, I'm going to be going in with the Anastasia So Hollywood Illuminata. My fave. Looks like that. That was a terrible, that was terrible. The brush I'm using is the Morphe M501 brush. Can you stop chomping on your chips over there? I'm about to be done in like 0.5 seconds. And gold just makes me look popping. Sometimes like it just like has a dust of glitter, so then I take my powder brush again and go over my nose because sometimes it can be too much. Je feel Je feel. I need a lip color. I don't want to wear any of these. Go with the classic. 
I think yes. But for my lips, I started with the CarMax, which is Everyday Essential Chapstick. And um, the lipstick I'm going to be going in with is Bow and Arrow from Kat Von D. The staple and literally the only shade I ever wear on my lips. I almost forgot my inner corner highlight. I'm just gonna use this BH brush, again, OG collection, for a set of brushes Baby Peyton never owned. And then I'm just gonna go in with the So Hollywood Illuminator for my inner corner. To set my face, I'm going to use the Urban Decay All Nighter Spray. Before that dries just for an extra pop, I like to go in again with highlighter. And there we have it, folks. This is gonna be the completed look. I didn't know what I was doing at first, but I ended up being basic and just doing a matte brown eye with a nude lip. So, I hope you guys liked it. Thank you for watching. Subscribe and like this video, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.